Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the different types of subprograms in VHDL language. So, subprograms first basically you will see what do you mean by subprogram. In behavioral design description, in behavioral design description, subprograms provide subprograms provide a convenient way a convenient way of documenting of documenting frequently used functions frequently used functions okay see in behavior <coughs> sorry in behavioral design description that means there are three different descriptions we have in vhdl behavioral description data flow and structural but these sub programs we have to use in behavioral description only not for data flow and not for structural okay so the behavioral description design the sub programs which are repeatedly used the programs or functions which are repeatedly used all such uh, frequently used functions are going to be documented using the sub programs okay there are different types available there are two different types first one procedures second functions procedures and functions procedure is for returns multiple values returns multiple values functions means return a single value return a single value okay so if you use procedure we are able to return multiple values okay in the procedure we will take a procedure a b c d all the sense to list we will call in the procedure that means whatever the output that we have achieved all these will be returned so multiple values can be returned but what about the functions function means it returns a single value not multiple values it returns single value okay that is a basic difference between functions and procedures now sub program is composed of sequential statements just like process sub program is composed of is composed of sequential statements sequential statements just like a process just like a process so let us see what are the basic differences between these two procedures functions and procedure function and procedure so first one executes in zero simulation time so the time taken for the execution of functions is very less okay execution will be done in zero simulation time 
zero simulation time and here procedure may or may not execute in zero simulation time procedure may or may not execute in zero simulation time okay already we have studied this functions returns a single value so returns a single value parameters are parameters are mode in okay only input mode is available but where whereas in the processor we have multiple return values so it will be having in in out and out so parameters of mode are parameters of mode they are also of mode are in here is in <clears throat> so parameter of mode here in out in out okay in out in out and coming to the next comparing point do not have wait statement in functions we don't have wait statement wait statement it has wait statement it has wait statement what do you mean by wait statement wait statement will stop the execution for some specified duration okay wait on condition wait on boolean expression wait for some time wait until this this is what we have studied in the previous video so function is always concurrent function is always concurrent procedure may be concurrent or sequential procedure may be concurrent or sequential procedure may be concurrent or sequential okay so one important note here difference between difference between synthesizable synthesizable and non synthesizable statements and non synthesizable statements so let us see what is the basic difference between synthesizable and non synthesizable statements from this point so synthesizable statements let us say first one synthesizable statements so synthesizable statements the statements which directly can be used to generate the hardware so these are the statements the statements which directly can be used which directly used to generate the hardware to generate the hardware this is what synthesizable statement so so in synthesizable statement whatever the statement we are directly executing that is used to generate some hardware architecture for that okay example example three input nand gate or any 
input NAND gate. Three input NAND gate. Non synthesizable statement. Coming to non synthesizable statement. Non synthesizable statement. So, non synthesizable statements means which cannot make any hardware, which cannot, which cannot make any hardware. This is the basic difference between synthesizable and non synthesizable. In synthesizable, after execution, we will be having a hardware architecture for the written description. But in the non synthesizable statements, we will not have any hardware architecture. Example, example for this one is generate delay and relay sorry real. So, all such statements will not create any hardware architecture for them. Okay. So, these are the different procedures functions and synthesizable and non-synthesizable statements in VHDL. Thank you.